with the already already done in the, in the interview at the Harvard University. Thanks. Now let's just see we start this question. Minus one simplify. Minus one whole power pi square root. Base is minus one and power is pi square root, square root of pi. Now according to the formula we are finding their solution. According to the formula we can write as we know that the formula e power pi i plus 1 is equal to 0. So we can write to change this result e power pi i is equal to minus 1. Now in the original question here is 1 minus 1 in the place of minus 1 we put this result e power pi i. So we substitute the result of this question e power i i is the whole power of square root of i. Now according to the double exponent rule we have the power double exponent rule that is we can write here a power m n m n i e integer so here look here we are using this rule m n both are multiplied for example we can write 2 power 3 and power 4 so we can write 2 power 12 according to this rules or if we change the power a power n and m is equal to we can write an m according to the same process and here we are using so e power power i into pi square root. Now further we simplify, we can write pi i and pi square root, we can write 1 by 2. When the bases are same in the exponent, here we are using another rules. This is the rule when the bases are same, bases are same, this is the base, base, bases are same. So we add the power exponent, we are adding the exponent. According to this rules, we are further simplifying this result e power pi i pi plus plus n2. We add the power of this one pi plus here is pi, pi is the base and power 1 plus 1 over 2. Now further we simplify pi i, we can write pi and we take the LCM, we get here 3 by 2. According to the another rule of the Euler theorem already we have used here now, e power iota theta, we can use here cos theta plus iota sine theta. According to this rules here, is considered as this one so we are using this result this result is further reduced here and we can write here e power iota pi 3 by 2 so it is equal to cos in the place of theta we put here pi 3 by 2 plus iota sine pi 3 by 2 now we can write this result and change it to the index form. This result we change in the index form. So cos, cos we can write pi. This will be pi cube under the root. So we can write this result iota sine and pi cube under the root of this question. That is the answer of this question e minus 1 whole power whole power square root of pi. That is the question Harvard University already 
done and the interview. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and share this video more and more. Thanks again for watching.